We've created a couple of catalog themes and are displaying them side by side here in InDesign. When we go into production, we'll be able to use the selection tool and take one block and drag it into a new document. The question is, how long do we want to spend formatting our text when it gets to the new location? Whether you're busy or lazy, the answer is still the same. No time at all. If you hang around, we'll show you how to pull this off. This rapid styling is built on the style gallery premise. So in our example, we're going to open up the paragraph styles panel and let's focus on the first three styles that we have. Product name, product description, and product features. If we toggle back and forth between our open documents, command or control tilde, we can see that the paragraph style list is exactly the same. The only thing different is the definition. For instance, on the right-hand side, if we double-click product name, you can see that we have the next style of product description assigned. If we go to the basic character formats, you can see that we're letting our style sheet dictate the capitalization. If we go to character color, we can obviously have both a stroke and a fill on every character. Because we've created a style sheet, we can change that at will. Because we have product description already built and applied, we'll be able to see any subtle adjustments that we make. The alignment's left, and in this case, it looks better without hyphenation, so we're going to turn hyphenation off and immediately see the effect that it'll have on the blocks that we've already built. For our features, we're letting the style sheet dictate the character that goes in front of our text. In this case, we've chosen the shamrock. And you can see tooltips displayed for any character that you've already selected. Find out what font you're using. If we want to tweak the tab positions and the indent position, we can make those subtle changes and know that it's going to be applied to all of our catalog blocks. And here we can move that shamrock back and forth until we're pleased and click OK. So obviously if we went to our Diamond Days sale, we can see that the diamond has actually been supplied by the character definition, giving us a lot of flexibility and laying the groundwork for that instant styling. If we go to layout mode, you'll see that the rest of our price chart is actually tab text. We built all of those transitions as style sheets. The price burst, the alternate tinting, are all applied by style sheet definitions and enforced when we drag our blocks from one document to the other. If you want to find out how to do this, let me know.